Hello, my name is Elle. And my name is Emily. And we are the autumn, uh, part of the Autumn NCS South Canada Group. Our social action project was called Coffee at Christmas. And the main goal was to involve the elderly who may feel lonely at Christmas. We did this as our social action project, as our community has many older members. And after researching the issue of loneliness in elderly people, we decided that we should do something. We decided to host the coffee morning on the 23rd of November and we planned out the roles within it and we did a sponsored walk and a bake sale to fundraise for the event. The night before the event most of us spent our time making sweet treats, uh, for example I spent my night making brownies and scones for yeah, ages. <laughs> I made chocolate crispy cakes, I like them. And the actual event, um, at the actual event, we had around 30 to 40 people, um, and we enjoyed mingling with older generation and doing our planned out quiz. From the reviews we got at the actual event, uh, everything went really well, and everybody enjoyed themselves. Thank you for listening. We will now play a short video for your of our experience. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. This is Coffee at Christmas News. Friggin' news. A group of teens decide to come together to make a difference to lonely and elderly people in the community. Over to Becky with the details. Thanks Elle. We are Coffee at Christmas, a group of young adults who want to bridge the gap between the younger and older generations and also want to comfort and be companions to anyone who lacks family or friends around this time of year in particular. 38% of people in the UK are alone at Christmas, with the majority of that being elderly, hence we wish to combat this issue. So we came up with this idea by speaking to our grandparents and those close to us and heard some heartbreaking stories and decided we need to take action. We are having a coffee morning welcome to all on the 23rd of November at 11am, where there will be a brass band, a high tea, quiz and more. For this to be able to happen, we need to get the money, venue and arrange it all, so let us take you on our journey. We believe that a Christmas is about spending time as a community and celebrating our relationships with each other. The aim of our project is to bridge the gap between the youth who fall into the elderly and give everyone in our community the opportunity to be together and feel like part of the celebration of Christmas. As a team, we have considered the overall cost for our project. This includes the cost of the food and drink available at the event, as well as the price for the venue. We had an estimated cost of £100 for our project, however, we aimed to raise as much money as possible and donate any excess funds to a local branch of Aid UK. To raise this money, we decided on doing a sponsored walk. A few of the team members also decided on doing a bake sale at school to collect some extra funds. We have just completed our Coffee at Christmas sponsored walk. This money that you helped us raise is going to benefit so many lonely elderly people at Christmas. And so Melanie, what's your take on the social action project? Uh, I think this whole social action project will really help benefit a lot of the community, in particular elderly people who aren't able to spend Christmas with family or friends. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you can do it. the involvement that young people can have uh, when they're doing positive things in their community um, and reaching out a little bit more because we all tend to stick with either our own interest groups or our own age group. What made you come to the event? Well, I came because we have great news to take part in this uh, um, event. The bridge. There are uh, I think the day has been very nice. It's been lovely to see young people and adults come together and have uh, a little bit of food, some nice drinks, and enjoy the quiz. What are your thoughts on the social action? 
I think the social action plan is a good idea because it gets everyone together. What do you think of the social action project? I believe that's really good as it helps out the community growing stronger as for all the people who aren't as able, they know that they're just as big a part as the community and just as important as other people. Thank you very much for the people who attended on the day and the people who have supported us through this inspiring NCS journey. Thank you very much.